A man in Florida has filed a negligence lawsuit against coffee chain Dunkin' Donuts after allegedly being injured by an exploding toilet. He's seeking more than $100,000 in damages after the explosion left him covered in human feces, urine and debris. An employee told him they were aware of the problem with the toilet and that there had been previous incidents with it. (laughs) (laughs) Can you believe what you have just listened to? Holy hell, Florida man, man in Florida. So Florida, known as an interesting state, shall we put it like that? Can you honestly believe what we have just read there? Man is suing in Florida for a hundred million in damages because he he got hurt and left in human shit, piss and debris. What else was in there? Debris? Is there body parts flying about? Bits of metal? He got a piece of screw stuck in his ass cheeks or something. An employee told him they were aware of the toilet's problem and that there had been previous incidents incidents so this is not the first time someone's been covered in shit basically on the toilet and they just kept people going i bet they had cameras hook up in the corners and just kept laughing at them pointing like <laughs> look at these fools down here keep falling for the toilet prank that we keep setting the number imagine that you sit down and just explode shit flying it's like world war three you don't know if it's a nuclear bomb or if someone's shitting over the side and flinging at you have you just entered a zoo or is this just a toilet in dunkin donuts although this may be one of the funniest stories i'm reading so far in the year and yes it's only been five or six days granted they are looking for around fifty thousand, claiming that the location toilet exploded on him and covered him oh god can you believe it <laughs> <laughs> just read this next line here just just look there the plaintiff paul Kurak claims the incident was traumatic and left him with sustained, severe and long-term injuries. I bet that was hard to scrub, wasn't it? That shit. Oh, you're like scrubbing there for days, trying to get the shit out your eye and you swallowed a bit. You never know what you can't get it out down when it's gone down there. You know what I mean? You have to wait a few days to do it. Poor guys, poor lads. Imagine this happens to you. So the lawsuit was filed in the 9th Judicial Court Wednesday against Duncan Franchises. And yeah, it's quite funny it happened in Florida. Granted that the new G GTA's in Florida and I've been looking at Florida and apparently it's quite a crazy state, a bit of a, a nutty place. It seems nice, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's not a good place, but you can bet your bottom dollar this is going to be in GTA 6 now. I bet there's a Stranger and Freaks mission where you go into a, a, a restaurant, you sit down on a toilet and boom, you get sent to fucking space flying on a shit toilet seat or something like that. This is just crazy. Seeking damages of at least 50k, I read on the other one 100,000. Imagine this happens not once, not twice, but a few times to people. You sit on a toilet, it explodes, shit everywhere, piss, flying bombs and flying bullets or whatever else is in an American toilet, I don't know. Maybe children come flying, I don't know, I'm just throwing a few ideas out there, you never know, right? And then you sit down, <laughs> covered in feces head to toe oh you'd be literally i i don't know what i'd do i think i'd probably just hang myself off a dunkin donut oh i don't know here's the file so it's actually legitimate you can see verif- verification of complaint god damn they requested a comment from Dunkin' Donut, but unsurprisingly, they left them on red. Yeah, I, I, I bet they did. How embarrassing must that be? This has not happened once, but a few times to customers where they've gone to your toilet and they've got shit, feces, piss, who knows what else, covered all over them. Oh, poor. Look, this is a horrible story. I genuinely, genuinely feel really bad for the guy that happened to. If this happened to me, I would absolutely be. I know it's a kind of a joke, bodily injury and psychological damages resulting in pain and suffering, disability permanent and significant emotional injury I would fucking be feeling that as well I would be feeling very emotional especially imagine that walk to the car park (laughs) imagine you sit on the toilet get covered in shit you go what the fuck your toilet's killing me it's literally caked me your dog muck and you go well I'm sorry there's nothing we could do stuff you could do you gotta then get in your car sit in your shit covered clothes poo in your hair poo everywhere piss stinking like you've just been swimming in the sewers and then you gotta get in your car drive home and see your family hi honey how was it how was your day it was fucking shit love i got caked in absolute crap i'm not sure why people in florida sound like they're from fucking like that but like fuck me mum. oh my god if we're negligent yeah if it's more than one person they're neg- negligent absolutely failing to do that oh man i would feel traumatized i would i would never 
toilet. I used to, when I was younger, hate public toilets. I used to never be able to take a number two in them. Always hold it in, never, ever, ever. Now I'm a little bit older, I can now go in them and, you know, go for a number two if need be. I used to hate locking the doors. I would never lock the doors unless there was a secret escape. I was like looking around like, can I get out if I get locked in? I would never, ever do that shit. Now I'm slightly a bit more sensible or a bit more fearless, some might say, and I've, you know, grown some testicles the size of avocado. So I'm, you know, slightly more confident and slightly more, yeah bit more live life on the edge me i don't mind having a shit in a uh, dirty toilet these days locking the door you know what i mean uh, don't even check to see if it opens straight away joking i always do that if i lock it i'll always unlock it quickly just to make sure i'm not going to get locked in i think that's a big fear of mine getting locked in a toilet which i suppose is pathetic compared to some other people's fears it's a blessing and a curse isn't it at least i don't have to uh, every time i sit on a toilet be scared i'm going to be exploded and sent to space i suppose at least you'll get at least 50 g's for it you know what i mean at the end of the day if you said i'll give you 100 grand if you go sit on this toilet get covered in shit and have to drive home i'd be like can i think about it for two minutes you know i'd uh, I'd at least give it a thought you know maybe flip a coin and see what it lands on a few times harvey dent style where is harvey dent but that's literally all i wanted to cover i thought this was too funny not to say something about poor guy i hope he's okay though i agree i I, i'm not sure how powerful it would be in terms of the physical damages but i tell you what psychologically that would fuck me up homies but yeah let me know what you think in the comments about this i want to you ever sat on a toilet and been sent to space been covered in shit it happens to the best of us boys and girls happens to the best of us